I want to read you a passage of scripture. It's from Ephesians chapter 2. And it's verses 1 through 10. And, and, and as I read this, I want you to imagine Paul writing it. The zeal, the passion that he has, it's almost breathless. And then I just want to make a few comments that I think will tie into what I've been saying. And you, he made alive, who were dead in trespasses and sins, in what you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience, amongst whom we all conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, because we're by nature, we're children of wrath, just as the rest of them. But God, who's rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together together with Christ. By grace you've been saved. And he's raised us up and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you've been saved through faith. And that not of yourself, it's the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. For we're his workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. What an amazing passage. Uh, I just want to draw six things from this passage that I hope will be an encouragement to you. It starts out, verse 1. And you he made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins. People of God, we have been resurrected. You died with Christ and you've been raised to new life by the power that raised Christ from the dead. You've been resurrected. Are you living in the glory and the power of that resurrection? We weren't just bad, we were dead. Romans tells us that our spirits were dead to the things of God. We were at enmity with God. We were God's enemies. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You, my friends, have been resurrected. The old things have passed away. All things are new. You have new life. You were dead in your sins which and trespasses, which you once were according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience. Not only have we been resurrected, we have been released. Are you living not only the resurrection life, are you living in the freedom that was purchased for you by Jesus? Or are you still allowing the spirit of the air, the enemy, Satan, to dictate your life, where you go, what you do, how you say things, what you watch, what you listen to, the course of this life? Are you in bondage still? Because the Bible says you've been released from that control. One of the great principles of spiritual warfare is this. When the devil comes around to you, you do all the talking. You remind him of who you are. And when he tries to remind you of your past, you remind him of his future. That's, that's simple spiritual warfare right there. You remind the devil and whatever demonic spirit might be trying to attach itself to you or influence you or oppress you. You remind them of their future. And then you you say, and I can say this because I've been released from my past, my past where you were able to control me. We've been resurrected. We've been released. People have got, this is good news, folks. I don't know about you, but I'm thankful. We've been resurrected. We've been released. Verse 6, he made us alive together with Christ. Alive together. I love that. And raised us up together raised us up. We've been raised up. We're not talking about promoted or greater. It's being in your spirit, being raised up. This morning, maybe you're here and, and maybe you're kind of in that place of kind of just head down, feeling like you're at the lowest point. Well, maybe you are and maybe that's okay because this morning the Spirit of God wants to raise you up because we've been raised up together. And look at this next one, and reinstated. He has made us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We have been reinstated to God's original intent for mankind, relationship with him. Imagine this right now, positionally, you and I, we are, we're not seated at the right hand of the Father. That that seat is reserved for one and one alone, Jesus. But we've been raised up together and we're seated with Christ in the heavenly realms. 
We've been reinstated to a place of honor above the angels. You've been raised up and you've been reinstated. You may be here this morning and you may have this week done something unworthy of the Lord, unworthy of yourself. Positionally, you've been raised up and reinstated. You get to experience that through confession and repentance. And it just gets better. Look at this.